Hi guys, it's Mrs. Grey Science here. I am back making videos and I'm going to be unboxing the Weller WLC100. Now this is a soldering station that is wattage controlled, not temperature controlled. There's a difference. Um, well, obviously one controls watts, the other controls temperature. And if you see on the little picture here, uh, one is, well you don't know this, but one is 5 watts and the 5 I believe goes up... Is, it goes up to 40. I don't know what the values are in between, though. That would probably be right on the instructions, which I don't care to read <laughs> at the present time. And it is a nice soldering iron. I mentioned that I have used this in the past. Uh, it works really well, and it's pretty inexpensive. They're only about $40 on Amazon. And then the replacement tips for soldering irons are obviously very cheap. Each one is about probably $2. Now, here it is. That is a sponge, which is a very flat sponge. <laughs> very, very flat sponge. And the soldering iron, which is now rolling. And then that is the tip that comes with it. It's a very thick one. I actually got another, I bought a tip that, and I received a tip that uh, is very thin, and I will show in a second. And then that is Spanish instructions, or those are more instructions. I'm a little confused about that. I believe there are also Spanish instructions on the other one, but maybe for some odd reason they needed two sets, and I don't really know why. And that is the iron itself. It plugs into the soldering iron unit, so if you have a soldering pen that you like a lot, you can plug it into this unit as long as it runs at 120 volts and 60 hertz. And obviously, that's the little knob. One is 5 watts, and then goes up to 5 is 40, so the max. This station can output, I don't even know what you would do with only 5 watts. I've never had a, a wattage controlled thing that I've, because when I've used it in the past, I've just cranked it up to 4 or 5, so I'm a little confused. And then, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little odd, because I don't really know how... Not so sure on how you would do that, but yes, if you see, there's an outlet on the other side, so you can plug anything you want in. Well, 300 watts max, but um, you can plug any soldering pen you really have. I've just had some pretty bad Radio Shack ones that I've gone through in the past year and or so, and the tips just melt on those. This is the tip I actually bought. Uh, I got um, and it. I can't tell if they just make all this stuff in Mexico. I'm a little confused, but uh. Just have, it's interesting because I, you always see everything made from China. It's always something interesting to find something made in Mexico or somewhere else aside from China. And then it's kind of blurry to see, but I will have Amazon links for all these down in the description with the cheapest prices I could find. And Weller, I don't even think has an online store, so. And this salary station isn't really that large. My thumb is probably roughly the size of a small quarter. I don't know. These are pretty, it's a pretty small soldering station, so it's not like this giant bulky brick that's going to sit on your desk. And it's quite light, too, so if you're like me and sometimes carry your soldering station to other people's homes or something, and here I have trouble putting it in, um, then uh, this will be a good thing. It's obviously not super compact to travel, you might as well bring a pen, the pen with, but if you are going to be somewhere for a while doing a lot of work, then this isn't too bad. It's pretty light. And here I am going to go test out this paper thin sponge. So guys, I'm in the bathroom now. I'm going to be trying out this paper thin sponge, which I was skeptical that it was a sponge. I thought it was a piece of packaging paper, but no, it isn't actually a sponge, a very large sponge. I've never seen a sponge dehydrate that much. And here I was thinking that, looking at it, I was going like, oh, I'll squeeze the water out. And I thought it was soap. And I smelt my hand, and it was not soap, unfortunately. So it just smelled like a gross sponge. I'm going to go back and finish up the unboxing. Okay, now here is the sponge. I'm trying to put it back in. It's kind of it's kind of large, but I think once it maybe... Maybe I was supposed to put water in there to make it grow out into its own area, but whatever. It fits pretty well. And besides, it's going to be disgusting and charred but once I start using the thing. So, um, not charred, more of just have a bunch of nasty, nasty soldering bits. This is a good kit. I like it a lot. It's pr it's pretty light if you, like, travel, if you go to people's houses sometimes, like I do. And, um, if you do soldering on the road, which I sometimes do. So, 
obviously it's not light you might just want to bring the pen with but uh it's a really good kit i personally like it a lot and uh, i can't wait to start building stuff with it and i will have like these interesting food tasting videos i'm coming down the pipeline with all sorts of good stuff that's coming guys um 3d more 3d printing actually i haven't even done any 3d printing but i'm gonna be doing some 3d printing videos now and uh Hope you guys like, favorite, subscribe, and this interesting video that I'm now making of soldering irons and molten plastic that's coming. So stay tuned and hope you guys have a great day.